firefighters in Odom can breathe a sigh of relief. I'm Victoria Valderrama with your neighborhood news. This is Odom's fire tanker back at this firehouse for the first time in more than a year. We were on a call and the tanker and the engine, the pumper were both going and uh, it, she just went out within about 30 seconds and blew the engine. That happened back in November of 2022, leaving the fire department without a mobile water source. 80% of our calls involve this tanker because if we're not in city limits proper, then we have to take the water to the fire. And working without the tanker was a challenge for more than a year. Firefighters did what they could with the equipment they had and the help of other fire departments. The siren. A lot of times we would run out of water and literally have to wait on an another responding entity to, to arrive with a uh, refill. The tanker truck was fixed in July, but there was a problem. But it, the truck was sitting at the repair shop finished, but we couldn't get it until the bill got paid. A bill that needed to be paid by the city of Odom, but they were going through financial hardships at the time. The city nearly broke. Mayor David Maldonado spoke with the repair shop and they got more time to pay the bill. That was approved, you know, prior to me coming in. Uh, so I felt that, you know, I wasn't going to do that to one of our vendors because, you know, when we do need repairs and stuff, they're there for us. Uh, so we kind of found a way. He found a way. It was paid and the Odom Volunteer Fire Department got its tanker truck just a few days ago. Uh, I love that. Firefighters told me while they would like new equipment, they are thankful to have this tanker back as this tanker makes their job a whole lot easier when it comes to saving lives. I'm reporting in Odom, Victoria Valderrama, Chris 6 News.